Hello and welcome to episode 79 of the Knitting Annihilator podcast. My name is Akira, your friendly neighborhood knitter, and I'm coming to you today from my amazing home in Adamsville, Alabama, where I live with my sexy, gorgeous husband and my two sons, Aiden, who is three, and Ethan, who is two now. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like it and enjoy it, and I hope that you um, stay tuned. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. We're just going to have to go through it and wing it. Also, my camera is acting funny. So this is the first time I'm actually filming a podcast on my phone. So we're going to see how it goes. This is definitely going to be a one take because <laughs> I'm in the middle of Vlogtober. Um, on the channel, so if you want to see that, you can check it out. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to have a good time and talk about some yarn today. Um, no stress. Um, show notes are listed in the description box below. Um, and if you have any questions, you can find me on um, Instagram as knitting underscore annihilator underscore. It's been about two-ish weeks. Um, we had a Ethan's, Ethan's. Uh, second birthday, which was amazing. Um, I'm trying to get used to filming on the camera too, so the like the camera's right here, and notifications pop up, but I put it on silent, so hopefully you don't hear like a buzzing um, every time I get a notification. <clears throat> um, so yes, Ethan's birthday was on the eighth, and we had a birthday party. It was really great. Um, it's Halloween season, as you can see, so I have on some Halloween pajamas. I know, um, the Nitty Witch, she has the same pajamas, I believe is what that podcast is called. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, um, I don't think I have any admin stuff, so let's just get into it, because I'm really excited. Um, to talk about things. No um, victories today. Um, I am just slowly but surely chugging along on the two sweaters that I said I would start um, last podcast, and I have. So I'll show you the one I'm most excited about first, and the one that's kind of giving me a run for my money second. So I cast on the Fall Collection by Meg of Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, Bad Wolf Girl Studios, and Bad Wolf Girl Designs, and um, I am doing the Mostly Ghostly chart, and um, I didn't have anything started when I showed you, and <clears throat> this is where I'm at now. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail, maybe. So this is the Mostly Ghostly chart. I believe I'm making the third size. And go to my knit companion here. Yes, I am knitting the third size. Um, this is a paid for DK weight pattern that comes with five, five Halloween charts. Oh, and I love this so much. So 99% of this is Legacy Fiber Arts yarn. Um, so this is Tuxedo that my ghosts are in. The background is The Mayor, which is a Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Um, this is dry roast, that brown portion, and this deeper, um, wine color is nitpicks. So, I'm about to keep them. I have it on, um, two separate needles so I could lay it out and take pictures. But I could also try it on for you. Excuse the hair. Uh, so trying it on. That is where we are. So that's what they look like. I'm 99% sure I'm just going to um, continue in stock a net. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put the O's. Because there's like little O's that go around. I think I'm going to put the O's at the bottom. 
But um, yeah, I think I'm going to give the um, ghosts their moment and then just keep going straight down from here. I absolutely love this pattern. Meg writes the best patterns that are easy to follow. And um, I think she does great as far as beginning color work because um, you're only working with two colors at a time. So, yeah. So this is great. Let's take it off now. And for right now, I have it living kind of as a bucket in this um, Fawn and the Fox bag. And I don't believe they make bags anymore. Um, but there's my, my favorite murder pin. I haven't listened to a podcast in a long time because I don't go anywhere because I'm a stay-at-home mom. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, loving that. But I have to put that aside because I'm working very diligently on my Christmas um, Christmas card sweater. So I'll go ahead and show that to you now. So this is the Elm Street hoodie. Oh, I'm using... On this, I'm using hi hi no Chiagu interchangeables um, in a US seven, which I want to say is. Don't let me lie, I'm, I'm not I'm not talented yet, but they're US seven, so. Um, yeah, so I'm making the Elm Street hoodie. By. Chase Carpool Knits. This is my first time knitting with these patterns. <clears throat> so this is a, a paid for DK weight pattern. While my mostly ghostly is top down, which is my favorite, this one is knit bottom up, which is not my favorite. But it is it's gonna be so cute. So I'm I can't like I can be mad, but I can't be mad because it's gonna be so cute. So I had nothing done, remember, when we last spoke, so here I am now. So I have a whole body done, and I'm working on the back. Speaking of things not being done, let me see if I can put a progress keeper in there. Aiden is a very I'm in here, Aiden. Right, go, go sit down, okay? Mommy's just podcasting, so you gotta sit down and relax, okay? <laughs> okay, you're all right. Shh, shh, shh. You're okay. You wanna say hi? Eight thirty, huh? That's really early. That's okay. <clears throat> So I'm using progress keepers and stitch markers from Simply Serving. So that one is a cupcake. And then this one is a pumpkin spice latte. And it's got a ghost Let on me it. do a pumpkin. Small pumpkin. Mm -hmm. All right, but this is where we are in this sweater. So I have the body done and I'm almost finished with the back. So as you can see, it's knit bottom up. All of this yarn is knit picks. Um, some of it is worsted and some of it's decay. But like looking at it on camera with this bright light, I can't tell the difference from the decay from the DK and the worsted. So my gauge is pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. So. Oh look, daddy's home. You gonna go sit with daddy? No. 
and this is knit on a US 6 um, needle. I'm using my Haya Haya Sharps. Okay, go ahead, buddy. <clears throat> and what I'm assuming is going to happen is once I'm done with the back, you know, you do the front and maybe a three needle bind off. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it has a hood and everything. And I believe these are drop shoulders is what it's called. Um, I'm not really sure. So, um, I'm filming. Please don't say nothing crazy. So here's my Chiagu interchangeable set that's holding the front. And interchangeables are my whole life. So I'm really loving these. So I will go ahead and put my progress keeper on this one as well. While the progress keeper may change, which I don't think it will, I'm going to put on this one from Whitney Marie Anderson. She's like my fall girl with the fall colors. <clears throat> on this pattern, I am knitting the... I'm knitting the second size because I believe it's supposed to have some positive ease. <clears throat> All right, so Progress Keeper is on. So fingers crossed I have a finished uh, I have a finished sweater for you for next podcast. Maybe. So now we can get into, I'm sorry I'm breezing through this. As you can see, the house is awake earlier than usual, so I don't have a lot of time. But I figured this was the only time I'd have to film it because today is poll day. And um, yeah. All right, so we'll get into a little bit of kryptonite. So um, I actually have this living in a custom bag from the Naughty Knitting Sacks. <clears throat> which is Katie. So there's her logo. The Naughty Knitting Sex. And I'm in love with this bag so much. So it's naughty because if you look on the inside, there's penises. And we do have a coupon code with her, which is Super Knitter 15 for 15% off of your order. So yeah, it's a large sweater bag. There are uh, pockets on the inside that are holding... You know, anything you could imagine, tampons, progress keepers, whatever. And then there's like a little, this thing, you know, to, I guess, hold the yarn through if you're knitting like out of the bag. So I love this bag so much. I carry it pretty much everywhere I go. Hey, baby. Good morning. Good morning, handsome. You want to say hello? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I got kryptonite and like happy mail at the same time. So I have to talk about this because this is so cute. So my mother-in-law came down for my son's birthday and she was like, I have a gift for you. And I was like, okay, so she gave this. So this is my niece. Her name is Deja. She's 10 months now, but this was when she was nine months. And I know you're asking what this is. It's a project bag. It's a project bag. So I can put stuff in. Oh, I, I teared up. It's a project bag. So, of course, I'm going to have to make her something and put something in it. But look how adorable she is. Oh, I love her so much. So that's one thing. And what I didn't tell you guys, I don't know if it happened last podcast or not, but I won a major award. I participated in the Needles at the Ready, um, let's hear it for the boys make along. And I posted all my progress on Instagram and everything. So, maybe it's that right there. Because mommy's voice can't get louder like it usually can. Um, <clears throat> so I participated in their make along and, um, you okay? Yeah. Oh God. 
and I put on my progress on Instagram and I won and I slapped my husband in his sleep and I'm like, I'm a winner. I'm a freaking winner. And he didn't move, which was fine. But I'm, I went around telling my family that I'm a winner and my prize came the other day. And this is what it is. So I got a new to me dyer, a new to me project bag and everything. So first let's talk about this. This is the uh, pin. I love them so much. So I was so excited to get the pin. Okay, sit right there. Okay. Okay, sit down. So I got this. I got this pin, which is great. And then I got this yarn from Pitchfork Fibers. And they have been hand dyeing since... Nope. I lied. I thought it said since 2001. That just says 100% hand dyed. So this is the colorway April Showers. It is 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon. And 463 yards. And it's fingering weight, 4 ply. Mommy. And this is what it looks like. Ta-da! I see, baby. So it definitely looks like April showers. It's very pretty. And you want to show them your dime? Dime. I see. And then the bag that came with it is from Whimsy Stitches Designs. And it's like a cute little project bag. So I'm going to keep them all together. And I'm going to probably make a muscle burg out of it. If I Whoa! Can. <clears throat> so, yeah, gonna keep it all together and Whoa! then have it as one big project, maybe while I watch their podcast. Whoa! So. Alright, we talked almost. Talked about my bag, talked about that, talked about that. Alright, so now let's get into the good stuff. So, I got Whoa! my um, supernatural um amanda knits yarn installment for this month so, she said there's an extra goodie in here so that's going to be interesting to see oh hold on let me pull it out all right ready one two stop. it's pretty Oh, yeah. Oh, that is pretty. Should I make sure I got everything out? No. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. So, this colorway is called Jerk. This is on her Cantus base, which is 80 20 Superwash Reno 20% nylon. Whoa! Open so we can examine her. Open, mommy. Closely. Mama, open. I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to find the other mom. Oh, Let's just destroy this. Okay, so this is one. There we go. Okay, cool. <clears throat> you put it back? Mm hmm. Because that's what you do when you close it. You put it back. Okay. Alright, so these were months one and two. This was one, this was two. I'm almost done talking. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Oh, that's stunning. That's so pretty. That is so pretty, huh? Alright. Oh, here, Brubba. He wanted to give that to you. Oh, thank you. Alright, so. <clears throat> here we go, month three. I bet you all were wondering when Sam would appear. Maybe you're even more curious about Dean. Is he sorry you will have to wait to hear about Dean? I had a lot of trouble with Sam. I couldn't find the perfect photo that represented Sam to me. So while looking, I found this photo, and I just love the colors. Now the yarn isn't as close as I would personally like it to be, but I'm 100% in love with the end result. Let's chat process. Start off with a nice brownish red color at the top and bottom to represent his plaid shirt. Next, I added tan to the middle to help with the skin tone. 
The jacket was tricky, but with the perfect mix of orange and brown, I think I got a good representation of the color. But what was unexpected was the nice bit of gold in the yarn, which can be represented, which could represent the light behind Sam. Then I added a nice brown section to represent nope, to go with the hair and the collar of the shirt. And lastly, I speckled with red to give some of the blood and pink hues of his lips. I'm in love. Alright, so this is again the color. Yo, this is going to be a pretty vertice tonight. Yes, I see him. I do. So it's going to be a pretty vertice tonight. Bye. 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 Well, hold on. You? I'm not. I'm not done yet. Yes. I'm. I'm not done yet. Would you like to? If you want to go, you can go. If you want to say bye and then you go, don't go that way. Go this way. Uh. Yeah, you want to go? Are you going or are you sitting down? Alright, so, my dad. That's fine. He's not my dad. So, my dad. Um, so she said there was something extra in here, so I'm going to open this. At this point, this is as good as the podcast is going to get, so I'm not starting over. Alright, so let's see what we got in here. So, of course, we got the teas that I don't drink. But judging by my voice, maybe I should drink one. Um, oh, yes. So, we got some stickers. So... That one says jerk. And that's Sam. And um, here's her card. Um, the something extra is, oh, I got a progress keeper for this project. Okay, so this is from Pacific Moon Knits. And she makes progress keepers and stitch markers. And this is like the the sign or logo or whatever for Supernatural. Oh, that's going to be so awesome. Oh, this whole project's coming together and I love it. So, um, yeah, that was so nice. So thank you, Amanda. I'll put my stickers with the rest of the stickers. And I'll put this with... Okay. I'll go put this with my progress keepers. So, that is it. As you can see, it's getting insane. So, let me go. Um, so, I can just go take care of the house. So, if you could get anything out of everything I've done right here, uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know what's going on with my subscribers. Like, I was at 843... I don't know if people are unsubscribing or YouTube just hates me, but at this point it is what it is. I just do what I do because I love it. So I'm just going to live my truth. Um, so yeah, so I hope you have the most amazing time living the craftiest lights possible and I'll see you in the next one.